Hello, I'm Sarah Gerard in the WUFT Newsroom. For Thursday, December 10th, here's your news in 90. There's a new way to pay at Walmart. Today, Walmart is introducing Walmart Pay at select stores, allowing customers to pay with their smartphones. Through the Walmart app, customers can pay with any iOS or Android device with any major credit, debit, prepaid, or Walmart gift card. A nationwide launch will be complete by the first half of next year. Chicago medical students staged a die-in this morning. They're calling for the resignation of Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel for his handling of the deadly police shooting of Laquan McDonald. The group of three dozen people marched to City Hall where they staged a 16-minute die-in, one minute for every time McDonald was shot. The protest comes after Emanuel apologized on Wednesday for the city's response to the case. That first reaction to the word ISIS is now becoming a larger problem for a 17-year-old girl and her family. ISIS Seriana Logan says she's become the victim of bullying because of her name. And she was even pulled from class this week after threatening graffiti was found with her name on it. As of yet, the school has not determined who did the tagging. An anonymous donor in Indiana dropped a gold coin wrapped inside a $100 bill in a Salvation Army red kettle. The donation, worth a total of $1,074, also included a special message that read, A nation cannot kill its way to peace. This is the fifth year in a row the same donor has dropped a coin into the same ringer's kettle. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.